In this video, we are going to learn how we can detect denial of service and distributed denial of service attacks with Wireshark. Few tools are as useful to the IT professionals as Wireshark, the go to network packet capture tool. Wireshark will help you capture network packets and display them at a granular level. Once these packets are broken down, you can use them for real time or offline analysis. This tool lets you put your network traffic under a microscope and then filter and drill down into it. Zooming in on the root cause of the problems, assisting with network analysis and ultimately network security. Let's first of all see how three-way handshake works. When a client attempts to connect to a server using TCP protocol, it is first required to perform a three-way handshake before any data is exchanged between the two. Since the three-way TCP handshake is always initiated by the client, it sends a SYN packet to the server. The server next replies acknowledging the request and at the same time sends its own SYN request. This is SYN ACK packet. Finally, the client sends an ACK packet which confirms both two hosts agree to create a connection. The connection is therefore established and data can be transferred between them. In denial of service attacks, in most of the cases, we are dealing with SYN flooding attack where there are number of users sending only SYNs to the target. Wireshark provides an easy interface to detect denial of service and DDoS attacks and detect malicious IPs. Let's first of all see manual inspection method. You can detect a DOS attack by simply viewing a PCAP file. A large number of packets from a single source to the target within a short span of time indicate a denial of service attack. Whereas in DDoS, you will see a number of IP addresses which are mostly spoofed, sending a large number of packets to a single target. A big giveaway is a large number of SYN packets being sent to a single PC. We are able to note down the start of the attack by a huge flood of TCP traffic. We can check the number of SYN packets with a given flag. Moreover, if we use the given display filter to display SYN ACK packets, then there will be a huge discrepancy between them and the previous filter packets. Now let's see how we can detect denial of service attack with conversations. Go to statistics tab and select conversations. If there are a number of packets targeted on one IP from a different source addresses and no reply back, it indicates a denial of service. Wireshark also indicates denial of service attacks with graphs. We can view Wireshark graphs for a visual representation of the uptake in traffic. The IO graph can be found by the statistics IO graph menu. If it shows a massive spike in overall packets, it means there is a denial of service attack. Now let's see the demonstration. Open Wireshark. Select to open the captured file. I have attached the PCAP file in the resources tab. And once the file is open, you can see all the packets. Now use the filter as shown on the screen. We are filtering out the first SYN request. And you can see that there are more than 37,000 SYN packets. Now let's just filter out SYN ACK packets. And you can see there are none. So it means we are under SYN flooding attack. Now let's see the other method. Go to statistics and open conversations. Now click on IPv4 tab. There you can see different conversations between IP addresses. You can see that there are a number of IP addresses sending only one packet to the address 10.10.10.10. Which indicates a SYN flooding attack. Here 10.10.10.10 is our victim IP. 
to view the graph you can go to the statistics tabs and click on io graphs and a graph will be displayed you can see the two peaks which indicates a sudden increase in packets and a denial of service attack i hope you like this lecture and see you in the next lecture